Understand Effective Approach to Solve Word Problems by Anil Kumar. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this playlist, we are taking many questions which are based on Pythagorean theorem. Major issue which we have seen in understanding these problems is actually in visualizing, sketching, and then solving. So all what problems in the playlist are focused on this skill which we need all students to develop. So here is a very simple question which is relating circle with a tangent. However, not providing the diagram makes it extremely difficult. The question here is, a circle with the equation x square plus y square equals to 25 has radius of 5 centimeters with center at 0, 0, the origin of the coordinate plane. Two tangents can be drawn from an external point P, 3, 13, 0, to the circle. Let the tangent touch the circle at point R and T. Question 2a is, Sketch a diagram to illustrate this situation and B is find the length of the segment PT. So this becomes really difficult since there are many things which we need to understand even before sketching the diagram. Have a look at it and then in case you want to learn from me directly, you can always send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We look into complete solution of this problem. But before that, let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, supporting our channel. Because of you, we have been providing you with 15 years of free service with more than 17,000 videos which are being watched over 80 countries. But now we really need your support, financial support, to support quality education which can be extended to millions globally, mainly those who cannot afford it. Your contributions, even in small denominations of $10-$20, can help a lot. Every dollar counts. Keep that in mind and keep supporting. So let's get back to the question itself and see how good quality questions are being answered and taken up in our channel. Okay, so few things to understand is what is the circle with the equation x square plus y square equals to 25. So let's try to understand this first. We have a circle x square plus y square equals to 25. 25 is 5 square, right? 25 is 5 square. And in this circle, we are also given that the origin is the center of the circle and now the radius is 5, this 5 square. So basically, here is a circle. Let us say this is a circle, right? Let me redraw it. Okay. Now, when we draw it, we will put this circle with the center at the origin of a coordinate plane. You see that. Now it says point P is 13, 0. 13, 0 means x value is 13, y value is 0. And from that point, we have a tangent to this circle. So let me uh, draw a tangent from 13, 0. So let's say this is the tangent to the circle. And that's the point P, which is 13, 0 means the x value is 13. And of course, you can see that from here, we can also draw another tangent, correct? So, we can draw two tangents from an external point P. So, that becomes the diagram. And now, we are saying that R and T are these two points. Let's say R is this point, T is that point. And we need to find the segment length PT. That is what we need to figure out. How do we find this? 
That is the question for you. Now, with this diagram given, the problem is no more that difficult, right? Now, to solve this question, another key information is required. And you know what is that? That is that the radius and the tangent, they will always form right angle, 90 degrees. That should help you to solve the question. Great. Now, we have a right angle triangle, OPT, right? In this right angle triangle, we need to find the length PT. The other two lengths are known to us. Correct? So, now you can solve the question and then further look into my solution. Perfect. So, let's move on to a new page where I'll re-sketch the diagram. So, I'm sketching this circle now. And uh, as I said, it's going through the origin, correct? And we have a point outside. This point is P. Which is 13 units away from the origin O. You get the idea? And this is my radius R, which is of length 5 units. Radius is 5. This radius makes 90 degrees angle. And what we need to find? We have to find P to T distance. Correct? So, we know that O to P square, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to O T square plus P T square. So, P T square is O P square plus minus O T square, right? Smaller side is the difference. We know the sides O to P, which is 13, and the radius is 5. So, now we can write down that this is 169 minus 25, which is 144. Therefore, the length P T is square root of 144, which is 12. So, 12 centimeters is the unit. So, that is how we are going to find the length Pt. You understand? If I would have given you the diagram well labeled, then it was a very simple question. Since the diagram was not given to us, we had to visualize. Plus, we needed additional information of what is the meaning of this equation x square plus y square equals 25. And then we get the full solution. Perfect. So, I hope that helps. So, in any word problem, remember, first visualize, write down your equations and then solve. I hope this strategy helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my video, that would be great. And in case you want to learn directly from me, send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students do extremely well. Thanks for your time and devotion. And keep supporting our channel. Thanks for your contribution. Thank you.